Trish Griffith, your Code Enforcement Officer here. Wanted to discuss with you the Building Permit Application Package, so that way when you submit it, you can submit a complete package which will streamline the application process. When you submit a Building Package Application, of course, the first thing I need is the application which can be found on our website. You can also come into the office to pick up printed copies, as well as a list of items that should be submitted with most applications. One of the primary things I need is something showing right title and interest to the property. I need to be sure that you have the right to pull the permit on the property. For most homeowners, this isn't an issue because our records will show that you own the property, thereby giving you right title and interest. If you're a contractor or you're a homeowner who wants your contractor to pull a permit, I need something in writing from you, whether via email or a handwritten note that is submitted with the package, that says that the person pulling the permit has the right to do the work on your property. Now, if you happen to co-own a property, anybody who has any sort of co-ownership or if it's in an estate, anybody that has any documentation showing they're part of that estate can submit a building per permit application package, but I need that documentation showing that you do have that right. I need a plot plan. When you draw a plot plan, People ask all the time, does it have to be to scale? For me personally, for most building permits, that is not a concern. I just need it drawn out, what you're going to be putting, where you're going to put it on your parcel, and an indication with the notes of how far back your property lines are from the structure you're putting in. I need to have this information to show you're going to meet your setbacks. Without it, I cannot approve anything. Now, for any sort of building other than a shed under 600 square feet, I need specs. I need to know what you're building and I need to know how you're building it. So I need your foundation plans if they are more than just a basic you know, monolithic slab. I need your framing instructions on what you're going to use. I need to be able to, to check your spans make sure that they're going to meet the snow loads and the live loads and the dead loads. So I need to know what lumber you're using. Um, if you have a truss package coming, I understand you don't always have that information readily available. Uh, I prefer it up front. If not, when as soon as you get it, I need it. Same for LVLs. An issue that I'm running into continuously is for generator applications. I need the spec sheet that shows how far from an opening that generator needs to be placed. I need to make sure with these documents that what you're building is going to be safe for our area and safe for your property. Now, if you're building a new house or a new, new structure of some kind, accessory dwelling unit, second home on your property, I do need proof from the water and sewer department, if you're on water and sewer, that they have the availability for you. If you're adding a bedroom and you're on a septic system, I need to make sure that your septic design will hold that amount of bedrooms. So this is just some of the information that I need, but this is the, the basics that will help you to complete your package. A quicker turnaround depends upon you submitting everything that I need. If you submit things that I don't need, the more the merrier. If you don't submit everything I need, I then have to reach out to you and everything gets put on hold until I get what I need from you. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or call and I'll help you figure out what you need for your permit. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with you.